So good morning. We're going to continue. We're on chapter 10 of The Trouble with the Chickens. Um, something, something's amiss, and they're probably going to go in the house this chapter. Let's find out. Oh, how Barb loves losers, I thought. Watching JJ, the hero dog, march around the yard with Chicken Mom on his tail and his face to the ground. Only an arrogant search and rescue dog could undergo years of training but not recognize a simple trap when it's right under your nose. Makes me laugh out loud. But Hero Dog isn't like Barb's usual rejects. The orphan baby birds, the mangy stray cats. I have to figure out his weak spot when I have him up close and personal. Welcome to my school, hero dog, I muttered. No medals and no par uh, parades here, pretty boy. Just my house, my yard, my rules. Soon, you'll meet one brilliant alpha dog who doesn't like company. So it sounds like funnel dog is not like Hero Dog, but we're gonna find out. I chuckled to myself and then leaped off the table in front of the window. On the way down, the funnel caught the edge of the lamp and it crashed to the floor. The lamp shattered, a bulb burst. Two tiny chicks squeaked. I couldn't have planned it better myself. Chapter 11. Why me? And obviously this is um, coming from the outside. <clears throat> Vince's shadow had dip disappeared and the commotion made it clear that it no longer behooved us to rendezvous. I didn't have to turn around to tell what was going on behind me. Sugar was coming up at me as fast as those little freaky little chicken dee legs would take her. She hadn't just inherited her mother's eyes. She had inherited her mother's crazy. You're going in, right? Asked Sugar. I rolled my eyes. I'm not going anywhere until I have more information. You have all the information you need, Poppy and Sweetie, are in the house. You said it yourself. No, I said, the trail leads to the house. Are you listening to me? Do you even have ears? For the first time that day, I bothered to check to make sure chickens had ears. They do. Sugar looked over at the house. The back steps were just a few yards away. To the right, was an old bird bath. To the left, a droopy tomato plant. Barb must have saved all the pretty for the front of the house. <clears throat> I'm going in, Sugar chirped. She was off in a flash with her eyes locked on the doggy door. In that second, I was sure of only one thing. If she went in, she wasn't coming out. I grabbed her by the scruff of the neck and locked and looked for some place safe to stash her for a few minutes. I tossed her up into the bird bath. Sit down, be quiet. She kicked a pebble at me. Just in case you didn't know what a bird, bird bath looked like. And she's kicking that pebble, hitting him right on the nose. I thought about the small town in the Midwest that had held a parade in my honor after I pulled three tornado victims out from underneath a mountain of debris. If you had told me then that I'd someday be dodging pebbles tossed by a baby chicken, I would have bitten you. Hard. <laughs> like I said, I didn't belong here. I was out of place in the country as the guy I once pulled out of a snowy cave in his pajamas. 
Life is strange, mister.